Hi, I'm Ted. Today I'm going to show you how to add a paragraph break in a cell in Excel. This is something you want to know how to do a lot of times when you're working with text in Excel. Here I have a spreadsheet that has a cell that has a lot of text in it. If you look at it, you may recognize it as the Gettysburg Address. And what we want to do is we want to make it so that um, it's more readable by putting in some paragraph breaks. So what you do is just as any time you want to uh, change something in a cell in Excel, you, you double click on it so that you, you've got the, uh, the, you're working on the formula bar. And in Excel now you can, you can actually edit right in the cell and we're going to do exactly that. So we're going to um, find a place where there might be a, a break. So we're going to just click at the beginning of this sentence. And what you do, if you notice, if you, let me show you the pitfall you get into. If you hit it, you might think you want to just hit a return. So let's hit a return. Well, when you hit a return in Excel, it's just telling it you want to go down to the next row. You, you know, return is enter, but, we're in, in, we, but we want to edit the text and put an enter as if it was like in Word or something like that. So we double click on it so that we're in text entry mode, put the cursor at the beginning of a sentence, and then on a Mac, and you can see I've got a little cheat down here, we're going to type control, option, return. And when we do that, you can see it put in a paragraph break, and we could actually put one more, and then we could go a little further down and put another one here. So uh, let's go to this sentence here and put the cursor there, and once again, control, option, return, return. Now, then if we hit return, just return by itself, we've now finished entering it in, and you can see the text now has the paragraph breaks. And as you can see, if you happen to be working on a Windows system, the corresponding uh, way to do it is Alt-Enter. So I hope this has been helpful. I'm Ted. And today I showed you how to put a paragraph break in a cell in Excel. Thanks for watching.